I just love living here. I'm so excited when we decided to make this big move across the country a few years ago and just make this our home because it really is like everything I think a lot of people could ask for and I know how lucky we were to get this house but I'm also like grateful for how hard me and my husband worked to get us here and all the things that we have done so I, I hope you enjoyed that little slice of my life and a little slice of my morning but I wanted to come out here and share with you something I've been getting asked a lot lately something that people talk about all the time when I'm in networking groups so I'm speaking at places and I talk to people and it always comes down to like where should I be spending my time so when it comes to video we have a lot of options when it comes to where we should invest our time and what we should be doing and we need to really dive into the big three TikTok, Instagram and YouTube and identify where you should start spending your time how you can use all three to work together and what it's gonna look like for you and what the right decision is and based on like my opinions in the like six years of doing this video marketing thing here on the interwebs. By the way, my name is Desiree and I am here to help make sure that you are using video marketing and the internet to capture leads and convert them into dollars. And the right platform, the right place to call your home, your master place is gonna be really important for that. So let's talk about these three and like what they are. So we have YouTube. YouTube is an established platform. It's been around since 2006. And quite literally everyone can have success on this platform if they do it correctly and they have the right strategy. I have tons of videos on this channel that talk about different ways to use YouTube and how you can maximize your efficiency in this space when it comes to educating your audience, capturing their attention and bringing them into your ecosphere, into your niche of who you are. But the reason I think that YouTube is, I think, the superior to all. So like, if we're talking about like my opinion, YouTube is where you wanna spend your time first and foremost. Because we have every option available to us here based on what it is you wanna do and who you wanna connect with. We have standard long form video, just like this. Whether it's a vlogging style or highly edited or sensational, or you just wanna sit down and have a one-way conversation with a talking head, you're gonna be able to deliver your message and give great value. We also have the expansion of the kind of content that we have with live streaming, where you can do shows and connect and do reviews and all kinds of stuff. Like maybe you're at church and you wanna broadcast your sermons. Maybe you are a coach and you want to share a meeting that you have. It's just such a great way to build a like community, especially if you're doing something regularly so that you can engage and connect with your audience. And it works out really, really great because you not only are able to get unfiltered, get unedited, but you also can like have the whole community and conversation in the comment section of what's going on in your live streams. We now also have the expansion of shorts. TikTok totally interfered and disrupted the industry with that. And shorts is a great way to get micro doses of yourself out into the internet sphere to build community, to draw attention, to find new people that you wouldn't have found in any other way based on the micro piece of content that you have. And now YouTube has expanded its offerings with podcasting where you can take your videos, your video podcasts, and put them up for people to share. So YouTube has, I think, the most options based on what you are comfortable with. So whatever style works best for you, whatever medium works best for your audience, you're gonna be able to create in that space. And on top of it, it's going to have legs. It's going to live for a long grain. It's going to be evergreen, which means it's going to last longer and longer. My content strategy with my channel and as a business professional is not to like go viral in the first 48 hours and get tens of thousands of views and all of that kind of stuff like so many YouTubers. My objective on YouTube is to have a back catalog of content that continues to work for me and serve me and bring my audience to my channel. And no other platform really does that. When we're looking at what TikTok and Instagram have to offer, that is where we have the opportunity to find new people to potentially bring them back to our YouTube channel. So let's talk about the benefits of Instagram and TikTok. So first, let's go into Instagram. Instagram, owned by Meta slash Facebook, uh, they were acquired quite a few years ago and they just got brought in because they were doing something that Facebook could not. They were capturing a new audience. They had this very image-focused platform for what it is. Now, it's gone a little up and down with like what it prioritizes, but right now, you're able to have a really quality balance between using vertical video reels and photos to have success in the platform. One of the other features that's really truly unique about Instagram is it has the stories feature, which is where you can have these 24 hour clips to hold attention and build conversation with your audience. None of the other platforms really do that successfully. 
I know TikTok has adopted a stories feature, but it doesn't quite have the same like way to connect. Instagram does a pretty solid job of trying to present your content to new people and, and have a more organic, broad reach where it can find people for you to be. But once you're there, once you're able to capture and connect with the people that are interested in your specific genre of content, like your specific niche of content, you're going to be able to just connect in a really great visual way. And whether you're someone that likes to do a lot of video or you really are interested in like the text option options, the photo options, the carousel options. Instagram is a really good balance for both of those for you. And then of course, if you can just pull out your phone wherever you are, give little quick updates and be organic with what's going on in your life, you're gonna have a lot of success on Instagram in that way. And then we have TikTok. TikTok is the disruptor. It's the bad boy on the scene. It's the one that's got everyone talking and got everyone wondering if it's worth doing. Some people have so many opinions about it based on like your political leanings or what you care about. But at the end of the day, TikTok focuses on vertical video exclusively to capture and its audience attention and it's known for its FYP it's for you page which is an amazing algorithm that based on who you are your viewing watching and consuming activities it's able to identify essentially exactly who you are and keep feeding you content that is related to what you want to see and it also does a good job of presenting you with creators with very low followers to very massive followers based on your interests and the things that you're connecting with the thing that's so genius about what TikTok is is it's raw and it's untapped. You don't have to be highly produced. You don't have to do a whole lot of extra work to have success on the platform. You just have to show up and give value. And you can also utilize all the extra features that it has in it, like closed captions, multi-shot editing, being able to add in trending music, and so much more. When we're looking at these three platforms, they all offer really unique opportunities, really unique demographics. But the question that you have to ask yourself as a business owner is what is the right one for me? So let's talk about like what businesses probably will do best on what platforms. Again, I think every business does really well when it comes to YouTube. However, I think that the best way to use YouTube as a business professional is like, how can I utilize the search function within YouTube to have success? YouTube is great for helping you answer the questions your customers have by utilizing search capabilities. So let's say that you are a chiropractor and you wanna talk about the benefits of your services and the problems that you see people have and the issues that people have. Like if you're having this kind of pain, this is what you can do. We've all gone to Google and have searched and what, why does this hurt? And we just hope that the answer is, cancer, right? So YouTube allows for us to have this way to connect with our potential customers by solving their problems. And you can do that exclusively with search. So by creating long form content based on search features and good titles, you're able to have long legs with the, with the audience that stands a long time. We're talking about Instagram. Instagram is definitely all about like community and longevity. This is where people who have found you from YouTube or other platforms or even on Instagram itself, where they're going to come to you because of the visual offerings that you have, but they're staying because the person that you are and the quirkiness that you offer, especially if you're staying active in your stories. People that I have found overall, people that have some of the best success on Instagram as business professionals are the ones that utilize stories. And honestly, if they utilize all the features that are available, images, videos, and stories, you're going to be able to do a lot on that platform. So this would be great, especially if like you have a physical product or if you like are a action-packed service like a retail store or a restaurant. So if you're able to capture the environment and the culture and the what's happening now and be able to even to save it to post later to Instagram, you're gonna be able to find so much success and build a sense of FOMO or desire to go somewhere. Um, and so that's where Instagram can really help you and help you find that audience. When it comes to TikTok, again, so many businesses can have really great um, help there, but the best ones are the ones that have information and they're trying to like break down or demystify or debunk or give an opinion about something. So let's say that you are a mental health professional and you want to have success connecting with people and finding your target audience. It's gonna be so amazing about uh, TikTok is you can go in and respond to other people's questions, other people's thoughts, other people's opinions. You can piggyback off of it. There are really great feature, features with the duet and the stitch feature where someone is like saying something and you're reacting side by side, maybe putting text on the screen, or the stitch feature where like they've said something and you're like, oh my gosh, I totally agree. Or no, that is, that is very wrong time to fact check you. That is the kind of stuff that you can really do there as well as like giving information, like lists, specific stuff, like did you know is all that. So you can build a community around those who are seeking information and kind of just want to fall into their lap and be presented with it. So what would a strategy be for you if you wanted to utilize all of these? How would you be able to be on all three at one time? 
First, I would create for YouTube first. Start with long form content that answers the problems that your customers have. So once you have your long form content, we can then take little clips that are less than 15 seconds and turn them into short form videos that we can put on to YouTube. Those can drive traffic where we can like put like, go watch the full video on my channel or even just get that just general attention. When we wanna figure out like how we can then take that content and utilize these other things, what are the things in the video that are micro pieces of content that you could turn into things, like quotes that you've said? Um, use, reusing those shorts over to Reels and to TikTok. Being able to take specific things or steps and make them into visuals, you can then do all of that over on Instagram. Instagram gives you a really great opportunity to repurpose your content in a way that has also a pairing visual element. You can't just take the short and put it on Instagram and expect to have a lot of connecting success. I highly encourage you not only to repurpose those short form content pieces, but again, make visuals like graphics or photos that are related to that topic and putting them into quality messages. And then of course, talking about it in stories. This is where you need to plan as a part of your schedule or your workflow in your day to pull out your phone and talk about something either related to it or not. But remember stories is where you can have that fun, interactive right now sort of situation. And then with TikTok, TikTok again, same sign of principle. You can take that long form content, repurpose it into short form clips that you can use onto TikTok. But I also think in order for you to have success on TikTok, you need to again be spending time on there, consuming and reacting to content. TikTok gives you some of the best opportunities for social engagement by being able to have that to a conversation, that reaction tapping into the platform tools to expand your reach. For TikTok and Instagram, I would always encourage you to drive the traffic back to your YouTube channel where people can learn from you and then get into your ecosystem of what is working with you within YouTube so you can capture those leads and convert those viewers on a long-term basis because you ultimately, in all of this, want to be getting everybody onto an email list so that you can control when you can communicate with everybody. And of course, share all the content that you put through those emails. When it comes to YouTube, we want to really break down what is the kind of content that will be successful for us. So watch the video I have right here, where I break down the difference between search and browse content for you and know which one is right for you to make.